Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to get back on the channel, Alex Branson Cole. He has had seven fights with five wins, one defeat with one draw. And yes, it's it's good to get you back on. And of course, your next fight is February uh, the third. So next, 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 not this Saturday, next Saturday, uh, yeah. you're returning against Jordan Latmer over six rounds. Yes, mate. Yeah, that's it. Over six rounds. Um. Good to be back on. Thanks for having me. Um, it's always quality doing an interview with you, Sam. It's always great. Uh, I always appreciate yeah. you coming on. Can we talk about a little, just um, a quick summary of the Ethan fight? Or yeah, we can. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Um, what was that? Six rounds. That was in September. Was it? Was it September? November. November. That was it. Yeah. Um, it was good. Fair play to him. He 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 won and. Uh, what can I say? I can't really say much. I've learned from it. Um, pushing forward, learn from it. And uh yeah, it'd be great to have a have a rematch in the future. Mm. I but think now... the fir the first round, I thought you both had successes in different ways. I think your jab, you got your jab going in that first round pretty well. Yeah, yeah once I got a jab going, um but I rushed into it a bit. Uh, I guess the yeah, I just it was the occasion, and uh, I rushed into a bit and uh, just got hit by a few of his shots. Yeah, because Which... it was it was a bit of a weird one because he he hit he I think he hit you and you could see it in your eyes that you sort of went and then when he tripped over he got back up you had a break and did you feel like when even though you looked a bit unsteady did you feel like you had to fight fire with fire? I did, yeah, and that was a mistake I made. Um, I thought I should just buy on a gun shield and fight fire with fire, but I wasn't fully recovered and uh, learned from it. Um, but yeah, what I should have done is moved around for a bit, got got my um, got my legs um, under me and moved around a bit, have a little bit of recovery. But I didn't. Um, I fought fire with fire, and uh, it didn't go to plan. But um, yeah, it's, look, it's, it's it's all about learning and progressing and pushing forward. And I've learned a lot from that fight. Mm. Um. Yeah. But do you feel like it, not to talk too much on the loss? But do you feel no, like you that's made you stronger as a fighter? As yeah, in a way, it has yeah, yeah, mentally and um and learning from from, from it physically. But uh, yeah, mentally definitely because. And no one likes to lose. It sucks. Losing does suck. Mm. Um uh, so but it, picking yourself up from it, that is the hardest thing. Get, getting back training, getting into it and uh yeah, that you really gotta push yourself through and you really discover yourself and find who you really are and what you really wanna do. Mm -hmm. But you're you've got your comeback fight next next week. Some some fighters if when they lose a fight they take lots of time out but with you you just want to jump straight back in there and get back to winning ways don't you i do yeah i just want to keep busy sam um i like boxing i like fighting and i like trying to just do the best i can do um and i enjoy it and if I stop oh, it's hard to get back in there when you stop but the best thing is uh to keep active and like i said keep pushing forward mm-hmm and you've got and you've got a good opponent as well in Jordan Latmer, who's two and three. Good opponent. Yeah, yeah it's good, good. I've uh, seen a couple of videos. Um, self poor, same as me. Uh, he comes forward, but as uh, I just want to get back to it, and uh, as a good opponent. Yeah, but you, you you don't really want to look back to fighting these journeymen, even though they are they are tough. But you just want to be fighting these big fights because this is like the stage in your career that you would sort of want to push on, you know what I mean? That's it, yeah, I just want to push on and see what I can do. And uh, this is a good first fight back. Um, pretty confident in my abilities and my skills and uh, learned from my last fight. So I'm looking forward to this one and push forward in my career. Mm -hmm. what, what do you know about your opponent? He, of course, he's a southpaw. Yeah, he's a southpaw. Um, he comes on his front foot sometimes, uh, pushing forward. Uh, not much really, because I haven't seen a lot of videos of him. Because uh, the last video I could see is like a year ago, and you can't really say much on that. But mm. he hasn't got any much uh, recent videos. But I know he's a self-boy. 
But Southpaw are off the dogs. I'm always ready for the fight. Um, ready to test my skills and see what they've got. Mm. And, um, yeah, you can't really look too much into the opponent, but um, you've been active, so your activity could play a big part in this fight. Yeah, of course, of course. I do like to try and be busy. Um, and, yeah, you know, I say, they always say activity is good, and uh, I've been trying to keep busy. You know what I mean? It's, pro boxing is hard, but I, I've been trying to keep busy as I can. And, I um, last year, to... even though you had uh, the odd fight cancelled, I thought overall you was you was active. You had four fights, which is quite good. Yes, yes. Uh, I had three, four, four fights cancelled, um, which is a bummer. But um, yeah, I, 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 I kept busy and uh, just I, I know I needed to. I didn't want to be inactive, and, uh, and that, that's what I tried to do. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, it's scheduled for six rounds. Is that is. Are you looking um to get these six rounds under your belt, or is, you know, is if the knockout's there for you, you'll just go for it. It's a bonus. But are you looking to get these six rounds under your tank, or just see what happens on the night? I see what opponents like. Um, you never know. He might walk into a shot. Um, he might be on his back foot. He might be coming forward. You never know. Um, I always prefer. I always uh, prepare for six, eight, ten rounds. I'm fit. Um, so whatever happens, happens. I'm always, I'm always ready to go the distance, and uh, whatever he brings, I'm always ready for, for whatever scenario. Really, whatever happens, it, boxing only takes one punch, and you never know what's going to happen. Mm. But I'm uh, always fit. Pardon? But I'm always fit, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ready for any rounds. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've, I've seen you've been sparring um Jack Belagko, is it? Oh yeah, yeah, good lad he is, good lad. Um, young lad, heavy handed. Um, and he's uh, yeah, he's a big lump for his age. Is it? Have they been good rounds? They have been good rounds. Yeah, we've been doing um six, eight rounds, and uh, he's he's got a good good skill set. He's got good amateur pedigree, and uh, some of his footwork is is great, and um, it's good to move around with someone at that level. Mm hmm. Is what what way is your fight against Jordan? Of course, on box rec, it's got you down as super middle. Are you going back down to middle for this fight, or? Uh, it'd be in between like middle, super middle, um, around like seventy five and a half or seventy six, around that way. D didn't Sorry. you say that you weren't fight gonna fight at super middle after the Robbie fight, or or was that light heavy that you said you wouldn't fight at? Oh, that was light heavy, yeah. That was. Uh, oh yeah, light heavy is a bit too big, isn't it? One fight, I come. One fight, I come in at eighty, and the other one at seventy-seven, just under super middleweight. But um, I like to keep it around middle, super middle. Um, I believe that's my weight. To be honest, there's not really much in it, but as you start going up, they are they are bigger boys. I'm a big, I'm a I'm a big lad myself. I mean, I'm I'm a big middleweight. And uh, a big super middleweight, but they do get bigger. <laughs> um, yeah. How how does it feel? I mean, returning to your call, and um, how important is it that you get back to winning ways? Um, at your call, good. It's always good today. You know, home of boxing. I know you like it there, Sam. It's good atmosphere. There's never a bad seat in the house. Mm. It's great. Getting back to winning ways. That's what I want, because um, no one likes to lose. No one likes to lose, and no one does. It sucks. Um, but that's what I put the training in for. I put the training in. I train hard uh, to get that win, so I can go to the trenches and and uh, use my skill set and use my fitness and getting back to winning ways. That's what I want. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm hmm. A hundred percent. Um. What can fans expect from you on um on fight night? Exciting. Heart pumping, adrenaline, and unorthodox predictions. Who knows what's going to happen? I might come out of I might come out of dogs, I might be on my front foot, I might be on my back foot. Have you changed your uh, style up a bit since that last what? fight? Uh, no, my style was very similar to how it is, but um, I'm more patient, working on things, I'm not rushing in. Um, 
because I've got good boxing skill set. So why not use my boxing? Why not help box someone instead of walking onto something? So that's what I love from my last fight. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, showcasing it on on fight night and putting it into action. Mm. I mean, you 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 can do both sort of because you can fight on the back foot and you can also, um, I mean, you proved when you fought Robbie and I think was it Bahador, um, Kam- K- K- Karami, uh, where you just had an absolute dog fight with both of them. So you can you can go into a dog fight as well. Yes, it does depend on the opponent, and uh, but majority of the time, I like to just try to hit and not get hit, take less damage as possible, because yeah. uh, who likes to get hit? No one does. But Styles make fights, and you know, with that uh, Baduka arm, um, he's, he's he's always on the front foot, so I had to fight fire with fire with him. Um, Robbie's he's got a skill, great skill set. Um, on alpha dogs at the time, so I have to do different things with different opponents. But that's what I'm, I'm in the gym for. I always do different things. Uh, so whatever happens, happens. I can box on the back foot, front foot, stay in the centre of the ring, or the dog southpaw. Whatever I adapt to and whatever I want to do. Mm. Um, you always bring a, a big crowd down uh, to uh, to wherever you fight. You always have a, a big crowd. Um. And you, at what time uh, do you think you'll be on next week, roughly? Uh, six rounder, I reckon I'll be on. Let's say there is ten fights. Cause they say, is there ten fights? I, I think. So. I, well, I think so. Yeah. Well, if there's ten fights, I reckon I'll be um, eighth. So let's say about half nine. About that nine, half nine, probably like that. Is is that what you you like getting on late? Because I think you headlined against uh, Josh Cook and then you got on against Ethan Comain. Did that did that get to you a bit like fighting on fight zone or no? Uh, not really. No, it's just a fight for me. Uh, even in my second fight, I was main event. I mean, they put me on last. Uh, oh yeah. But, but as an amateur, I'm, I'm like you because I I only box as a senior as an amateur. Um, I was always on last because I was I was oldest, but uh, it doesn't really bother me. First, last, second, third, who cares? Get me in fight that ring. Fight. Yeah, fight's a fight. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, what's your? Can I can I ask you a prediction like of upcoming fights? Some. You can yes, if if I'm. If I'm any good with them, I need to watch. I need to be on top of the uh, boxing a bit more because uh, I just normally when coming up to a fight, I normally concentrate on my fight and yeah. But yeah, yeah, go on, go for it. Throw some out. I'll, I'll try my best. Fury Usyk. Ah yes, Fury Usyk. Oh, mm. I I want to go with you, uh, Fury. Yeah, I like Usyk. Self ball, nice, sleek, good. But I think Fury will be on his aim game and. Uh, uh, he'll get it. He'll he'll do it long. He'll get it. Yeah. Mhm. A A J or uh, and Garni. A J. I reckon A J. Stop him. Believe it or not, I really do. Yeah. He will. I reckon he stop him. Yeah. Because I think if I didn't think Fury took and Garni seriously, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I thought that too, Sam. To be honest, I did think that. I think it it won't be easy, but I think A J should stop him. Whether that's six to six, maybe around five seven sort of area five seven yeah yeah good predictions there sam mm. yeah and i mean aj yeah he had what three fights last year his last fight against uh, otto woolen he just looked strong he looked like beefy strong and uh i reckon he'd do well and he'd bring that strength to his next fight with I'll go and know whatever his name is. And uh yeah, I do reckon he'll stop him. Mm-hmm. Um, I think yeah, Park Park of the um Zhang, interesting one. Who's that, sorry? Oh yes, um uh Johnny Bloke and Parker. Yeah, I haven't seen much of that. I see it pop up the other day. Oh from his last fight he done well, Parker. Mm. Um, but he's so heavy handed, and he they uh but then yeah. again, so, so is Deontay Wilder. Um, uh, he's got to be on his A game. 
Box and move. Don't don't get caught in a dogfight, otherwise he will get stopped. My predictions are he's got to be fit. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Parker. I'll, I will say Parker points. I yeah, think Parker. that that one is that one's difficult. I think I I mean I keep changing my mind with that one. One day I'm thinking Parker, and then the next I'm thinking maybe Jan will eventually get him. But that's what people yeah. are saying with. That's what I thought Wilder would eventually get Parker, but I think he just blew everyone out of the water. No one really expected that. No, no, I don't reckon. No excuses, but I don't reckon um, Wilder, uh, he was 100%. I, I don't know what he was doing. I know he changed trainers, but I don't know what he's... I think he's trying to box the boxer, which doesn't work. He should have dragged it out and used his power. But, mm. yeah, yeah, Parker done well to stay in there and not get caught. So yeah, fair play to Parker, and hopefully he does the same with uh, Zane. Mm -hmm. That yeah, there's some good fights coming up. Um, what what's another fight that's coming up that's decent? Uh, we've got John John Ryder. He's this oh weekend. yeah, he's this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I haven't seen much of that middleweight. Um, One gear. Yeah, that's it. I haven't really seen much of him, so I can't really say much, but I'm I'm rooting for John Ryder, of course, so why not? Um so yeah, I'm I'm rooting for him and hopefully he does it. Mm -hmm. What what's the one fight for you that um you wanna you wanna see this year? Oh so what's this year? Twenty twenty four, uh at the end of it. When's uh When's uh, you see Gun Fury? That's in February, I think. Oh, is it okay? So, at the let's say Fury gets through that and AJ gets through Ugunu, whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to see you uh, I want to see Fury and Joshua mm. at the end of the year. at the end of the year. Even to be honest, even if. They both lose a fight. I still want to see it because of the good British clash. I want to see that. Yeah. Yeah, that fight will always be there. So win or lose in the next fight, that fight will always be there. And I want to see it. Yeah, that'd be good. The thing is, whoever, whoever wins those two fights, let's say Usyk beats Fury and AJ wins, then we'll see that third fight. Because that's what um Saudi Arabia said. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Fight. There you go, then. Um, Saudi, they'd be, they'd be paying a lot of money, so I'd just go go where the money is. Um, the Fury and Joshua fight that's always going to be there, even yeah. if they lost five times in a row. That that will always be there. So because they're both British and they're both heavyweights, so that fight will always be there. But next fight, if if Saudi say that, then you got to go with the money and go with the flow. Mm -hmm. What's the goal for you this year, Alex? How many fights do you want to have? And yeah, what's the overall plan for this year for you? Uh, one, two. Put it. Let's have a good four fights again. That'd be good. Four fights. Um, and uh, get some titles on board. Yeah, yeah. Looking that'd be for good. A southern area this year. Would you say? Um, southern area. What? Well, yeah, yeah. Southern area. That'd be good. Southern area. Uh. Um, you've got the Commonwealth Silver. A lot of people are going for that, but I thought I'll fight for it. I'll still fight for it. But yeah, um, anything that comes along, we, we can say this, we can say that, but any opportunities, because opportunities don't come um, a lot in pro boxing. And when they come, you've got to grab it with both hands. So any opportunity that comes, Southern Area, um, that would be the titles are going for, and any other ones that. Any other thing is a bonus. and Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Good stuff, mate. And um, before I let you go, do you want to thank um, just that anyone as always, sponsored managers, trainers, anybody? Of course. Um, all the people that support me, couldn't do it without them a lot. Um, boxing is a very, uh, let's say, expensive <laughs> Um especially when it comes to fight night uh you gotta pay house money and stuff like that so without the people uh showing their support uh you couldn't do without them so big thanks to everyone who supports everyone who shows their love really couldn't do without you lot uh, my coach my manager everyone who's i spar with 
And uh, a big thanks to all my sponsors because they really help with all the medical bills um, yearly and everything else in between. So big love, big thanks. And uh, we go again Saturday the 3rd of February. Ah. Yes, mate. And um, from me, mate, thank you for your time as always. And let's get back to winning ways uh, next Saturday, mate. All the best. Of course, Dan. Thank you for having me. You've been great. Anytime, mate. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers.